Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Johnny Jams here, and I am just inside City Walk outside the Universal Parks today, and it is Wednesday. Therefore, it is time for the Hump Day Update. Oh, yeah, getting a high voice for that one. That was fun. So, without further ado, let's go inside the parks, see what's new and exciting, check out some wait times, and always, of course, do some hand ring around. All right, starting things off, Isles of Adventure once again, where the adventure begins. And maybe like last week, we are going to have low crowds and low wait times, I don't know. Or maybe last week was just a fluke, being the end of spring break and all. But I'm kind of hoping we see some low crowds, low wait times, maybe some other exciting things. You never quite know when I step into this world where my adventure begins. Isn't that right? Random noises up there from that building that I don't understand. <laughs> getting welcomed to the park by the Hulk, cruising around, tearing it up. And I'm gonna make my way off to the right into Seuss Landing and beyond tonight as we start things off. We pass the Backwater Bar here. Looks like a good place to get a drink one day. Kinda like it, but there's no time for that. We're heading into Seuss Landing. Crowds, honestly, don't look bad. I can see the ground and that's always a good thing. As we see the lights trickling on Seuss Landing. Making my way past the cat and his magical hat here. And tonight, the wait time is a 15 minute wait for Cat and Hat. So that has me thinking we might see some higher wait times today if the cat in the hat is at 15 minutes already, but I don't know. Guess we'll wait and see. And we got storms in the area. They were talking about major hail today. We'll see if that comes to fruition. One fish, two fish is only five minutes. That makes me feel good again. Back on track. Maybe cat in the hat was a fluke. Maybe it went down and there was just a sudden rush for it. Because we also got the Susical, the, uh, the Carousel, uh, sorry, Carousel, five minutes over there. So, all seems good here at Seuss Landing. But the real question is, what is the wait time over here at the Seuss Trolley right, train ride? Because that's how you're gonna know. If that thing's high, I anticipate more higher wait times as we meander around the park further tonight. Five minutes! Wow, that is amazing. I, I can't complain about that guy. That guy over there was cheering too. Has every right to, because a five minute wait time for Seuss Trolley Hot in the Sky train ride, it's gonna be a good time. So overall, a good day so far in Seuss Landing. But there's no time to wait for the Seuss Trolley to come by. Like I said, it, the wind's picking up, so that actually might go down for weather soon. We'll see what happens, a lot of these rides. So I wanna keep going on here into the next land and it's gonna be the lost one, the lost continent. There we go. We got the Seuss Trolley train ride passing overhead. You could really see the undercarriage from this part. Actually, where I'm standing, there's nobody on it. I think it just went down. Maybe that's why it's five minutes because maybe it's just going up now as we speak. So we might see the wait time climb for that. But I have to say bye-bye to Seuss Landing as we cross the Mystic Bridge right now and make our way over to the continent that is lost. There's my Griffin friend up ahead just kind of surveying the scene of all that he's lost because there's not too much to do anymore or there definitely won't be in the Lost Continent when Poseidon and his furious adventure leaves. But we got a fountain. We got a fountain going on at Mythos. That's cool. That's probably what the rain's gonna look like later. Just pouring down like that. That's okay, I got a poncho. So we're gonna be all right. 
And here we go, coming up to Poseidon's Fury. The time is coming nigh for this attraction. May 9th, last time. And also, I'm really going to miss the sign and this awesome water feature. This is the backside of Poseidon's Fury sign. So yay, backside of water fountain. <laughs> and here we go. There's another shot of Poseidon's Fury that you're just not going to get very much sooner. And uh, if you didn't notice, because I sure as heck didn't, there's a squid on that rock right there. Look at that. Little hidden features. If you stare at the rocks long enough, you never know what you're going to find, I guess. <laughs> but I'll have to find it another time because it's time to move on. One last thing to note about Poseidon's Fury here. Uh, besides this awesome waterfall that's shooting out of the ground, look, it's like my griffin friend over there has flown over here. I didn't notice that either. Just kind of hanging out. Boy, it's going to be different without this thing here. That's for sure. There's a giant foot. All right, we are continuing on through the bazaar. Sinbad's bazaar. Sinbad ain't here anymore either. Man, it's going to be weird without anything to do in the Lost Continent. I bet Universal is planning something big to come in here one day. Maybe something epic. Maybe something Zelda-like. <laughs> still, still rooting for that and I don't care. Putting all my cards on Zelda here. <laughs> Look at the archways. Just about the last attraction that I hope they don't get rid of here in the Lost Continent is the Mystic Fountain over there talking to you sometimes, just bubbling away. That thing is fun. Here it is, making our way into Hogsmeade Wizarding World over here, Hos <laughs> Wizarding World Hogsmeade Edition. And here are the crowds. Here's where all the people are. And I was worried. Didn't think I'd see people. They're all hanging out in the Wizarding Worlds. Wow. That's why we're gonna concentrate on the rooftops. Just plow through and look at rooftops. That's all you can do to get by. Unless you're gonna stop and cast some spells or anything. Hey, what's Hagrid's doing? Well, what's the wait time over there? I can't even see, there's so many people. Not gonna look at that cool pumpkin cart today, I'll tell you. Five zero. 50 minutes for Hagrid's? That is epic. So it might be crowded outside. Oh, we're gonna go into a shop right now. It might be crowded outside for Hagrid's, but definitely 50 minutes is not bad. That's like Velocicoaster numbers right there. Even better than Velocicoaster. Got my hopes up. All right, taking some time out to walk through a Wizarding World shop and it's not too crowded, especially in here. Like everyone's just hanging outside today. So I can really take a moment to look at the candy and all the fun stuff on the walls. Look how decorative this is. And again, all these shops are super small compared to other theme park shops because that's the way J.K. Rowling wants it. And apparently what she wants, she gets. What is it? Oh, it's a chocolate frog, but it's a bowl. It's like an optical illusion. Not really, but it's a fun bowl. All right. And just in case you're wondering, this place is called Honey Dukes. Just found that out. Just thought it was a candy shop. Do you know why it's called Honey Dukes? Because I don't. Because it's got things as sweet as honey yeah. and some guy named Dukes works here. <laughs> I don't know. They have a lot of candy though. Right here the line for butterbeer tonight is actually really good. There's not much of a line at all. So that's awesome. I bet a lot of people are going inside the Hog's Head to get their butterbeer. That seems to be the place to go tonight. The Hog's Head bar, that awesome hog in the background. And it's actually not that crowded in here either. So it's an easy day to get butterbeer. Here's something pretty neat out here. If you can grab a spot on the patio, you get this epic view of the Velocicoaster just across this wall here. Isn't that nice? Speaking of which, here it comes. I bet the wait time is really good for the Velocicoaster because if Hagrid's only has a 50 minute wait time, I bet it's like a 20 minute for the Velocicoaster. It's usually always lower than Hagrid's. 
Everything is usually lower than Hagrid's. As I make my way across Hogsmeade, I'm standing just outside Hogwarts Castle, and the wait time is what? 15? 15 minutes for the Forbidden Journey? That's awesome. Wow. It is a great day at Universal. I mean, if you're gonna plan a trip, you better come during the week right now. I guess right before the summer shot rush. And look, oh my gosh, 15 minutes for the Hippogriff. That is crazy. That usually does not happen, folks. We have seen excellent wait times today from Hagrid straight down to the Hippogriff. This is very exciting. Here we go as we leave the Wizarding World, that wonderful picturesque view of Hogwarts Castle. And again, surprised, only 50 minutes wait for Hagrid's, but I think that's because of the storm. I think the storm that's coming is keeping a lot of people away from the park tonight. So that might contribute to lower wait times. Now you would be, I would be inclined to actually jump on Hagrid's, but I feel like if I get on now, by the time I would get to it, even though it's 50 minute wait, that it would go down for the storm because it's coming. But let's look at what's front of me right now, the epic Jurassic Park gate. And we have three fires tonight. One on the very top, two on the sides. That's awesome. We're almost at four, folks, one day. One day I'll see four. Turning the corner, you could walk both ways into Jurassic Park or back into the Wizarding World. It is not blocked off because it's not crowded. That's always nice. Passing Jurassic Pop. Not too bad of a wait time there. And speaking of wait times, the Velocicoaster tonight, 25 minutes. I told you to be lower than Hagrid's. Wow. So yeah, I mean, Hagrid's was low and I knew the Velocicoaster would be lower. And there it is, 25 minutes. Very cool. Watch out for the Spinosaurus lurking in the, in the trees. They do have dinosaurs here at this dinosaur park. Let it be known as you check out the epic Jurassic Park 23 Jeep with Dennis Nedry's jacket in the back. Thank you, you're right. He says they're not real, so you guys don't have to worry at home. It's okay. Here's something fun to watch here at Jurassic Park are the games. You can play these games and I think they're all play to you win. So like you'll win every time at least something. Maybe not one of the giant things in the back, but you'll win maybe some cool DNA sequencing. Look, it's Mr. DNA. Where did you come from? Wow. There we got other things you could win. These fun dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. They're my favorite. <laughs> maybe next time. Look at the Triceratopses. Oh, this is like a, a water pistol game. That's fun. Very, very cool. Got some good prizes. I got a giraffe. That's kind of different here at the dinosaur park. Maybe you want a giraffe. That's still kind of cool though. All right. We are making our way down past Pizza Predatoria, which is closed. And as we make my way down the hill to the lower Jurassic Park, we're at Jurassic Park proper here. The river adventure. There goes the Velocicoaster again. Hey, I like when the Velociraptor and the Velocicoaster passes, these lights turn red because it's dangerous. And that's how you know. See, it turns red. Otherwise, it keeps you safe. But let's look at the river adventure right now. See what the wait time is. If anyone's willing to get wet. It is delayed tonight. Must be the dinosaurs are a little out of control. So right now it's delayed. Maybe because there's a storm in the area, get it? Just like in the movie, there's a storm. <laughs> Making my way over to Skull Island, Reign of Kong. And we got a 10 minute wait for Kong right now to go on the expedition. Nice. Just right outside King Kong here is one of my favorite hot dog stands because you can get the ultimate, the ginormous Kong Dong combo right there. And we are entering things into Toon Lagoon. It's been a hot day, so I can imagine people are probably wanting to get wet. 
on both Ripsaw Falls and Dudley Do Right today right as we there. enter the summertime. But even though it's still kind of hot out, it's only a five minute wait. Isn't that nice? I just saw a boat go down. Let's see if I catch one more splash down here. Rips off balls. Here they come. Oh, they got both sides open today. Almost a full boat right there as it comes over the edges. Nice. Hear the scream. Okay, no word on if a storm is coming that knocked down Dudley Do Right, but everything else is running and the skies are blue. So I'm going to keep meandering around, seeing what I'm going to see as I pass those fun tires here at the gasoline alley. Always just got to poke that. Yeah, let's see if it makes some noise. There it is. Oh, I got a good one. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Look at the walls. They have expanded in front of the giant sandwich type shop thing over here in Toon Lagoon. They are moving all around. Before, let's see, they were right here in this area and now it looks like they're down. So let's see what they did. Looking immediately at the ground, it looks freshly painted. Looks like some stonework was done here. Maybe some trees were trimmed, I don't know. But it does look pretty fresh and new in front of this army camp store with the real bright idea light bulb there. <laughs> All right, I am aboard me ship the olive right now where I hear that the slides are working. That's right, Mr. Hammond, the slides are working for the first time in forever. Let's see if I can find one of my children to demonstrate. There's a child. I know that kid. I think that was Junior Jans. He just disappeared. Oh, he's going up the steps. Let's hurry up and get up there. He's going so fast. Look at the view you get from up here too of all of Islands of Adventure. It's pretty cool to be back on the boat again. Have to say that. But look, that tunnel slide is open. Maybe that's where my child went down to. I'm not sure, because I seem to have lost him. And you really get a good perspective of the boat from up here. And look at the refurbishment job they did here. It looks like a, re a good repaint job. Maybe you can turn this wheel again. I don't know, oh, you can. You can turn it a little bit, that's nice. And you can adjust the speed, how fun. But I gotta show, oh wait, we do have something out of service. The elevator is out of service right now. So note that. Also, if you want a free way to soak people that are riding Popeyes as if they didn't need to get more soaked anyway, look, they fixed the hydraulic water guns right here. I think we're gonna soak some people. Uh, no one's riding this. But on a day when people are riding, look, it gets right on the seat right there. That is cool. So you can just have some fun for free and get people wet. What a fun thing to do. Okay, so I can't find the kids. They're in, they're, they're in one of these slides here, but there's actually a below deck going on. So there's only one way for me to do it. And that's gonna have to go down the slide. I found the kids, they went down this crazy slide. I think I'm gonna try or maybe break my back as I try. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work too well. Okay, here we go. Whew. All right, going down this slide. Oh my goodness, this is bigger than I thought. Woo, it's spinny. Woo oh, what a fun one. All right, I am at the bottom of the slide inside the bowels of the ship. Everything is repainted. There's cool sound effects and gurgling on the boilers right there. That's awesome. Interactive. Interactivity is real, folks. There goes Junior Jans. I just saw his feet. He's in the spinach room where you can punch these things full of spinach. There's some low clawing walls. All kinds of fun things. So there we go. Me ship the olive is back in business, folks. Took a few months, but we're there, we're back. So if you have kids, or if you just wanna get nuts, come on over here and take a slide, wet some people on Popeyes. It's gonna be a good time. Walled up area is creating what to be a bottleneck 
as you try to get through Toon Lagoon right here. But you can take a secret way underneath the tent as we meander around through the gift shop here. I think there's a way to get around the crowds. There it is, the door opens. And look, just like that, I didn't walk through that tiny area with the work walls, I just walked around. That was genius. And now we have arrived where the action always is, Marvel Superhero Island. That's how you know, right there on the floor. As we go into the city that never sleeps, because it's too noisy. Marvel Superhero Island. Never know what you're gonna see. Yeah. Real quick over here, this was littered with construction walls in this area around the power obelisk, and now they are gone, and it looks kinda like they've got a fresh cone of paint. Maybe they do paint things often as I stand in the middle of the Marvel Superhero Power Obelisk with all these characters looking at me and then a cloud of smoke at my feet. Whoosh! <laughs> Tonight Spider-Man has got a 10 minute wait as it goes along with the theme of low wait times. Also, look, Stark Enterprises. Right up there, I didn't even know that. It's Iron Man's building. Right by the Five and Dime and Kingpin's Arcade. Oh, shop, I'm sorry, that's just shop. That's cool though. And as it should, Dr. Doom Spearfall has a five minute wait tonight. Look at them bouncing there as they go back down. That's fun. Yep, five minutes wait for the Fearfall. It's always good time. I'll tell you what, either the storms are just right upon us, even though we're looking at blue sky, but we have another delay, and this time it's the Incredible Hulk. Even though I just saw him go by, so they must be testing it but I have seen more delays tonight than I usually do. I saw the River Adventure with a delay. I saw the Ripsaw Falls having a delay. They had a delay on the Pterodon Flyers, and now they have a delay at the Incredible Hulk. But like I said, there are storms, even though there's blue sky, they are circling all around us, and I think they're eventually gonna come our way. There goes Hulk, he's testing. He's getting angry though, because he wants riders. But speaking of what's not on delay, Storm Force. But here's a fun different update. Tonight it is 15 minutes for this attraction. Something I don't think I've ever seen in weeks. But I think that's because the Hulk is on delay right now. So people are gravitating towards Storm Force because it's right here. At least that's my theory. Either that or Storm has just got really popular all of a sudden. Well, there it is, folks. Another Wednesday and another update, update complete. Thank you for joining me today, Universal Islands of Adventure. Remember, your weekend is almost here, so just hang tight. But until next time, I'm Johnny Jans, and as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. And here at the Universal Cinemark, it looks like the hype for the Mario movie has finally died down because the Plumber Mobile has moved on, maybe to other things. So it is officially gone. It was cool when it was here. It got to take a lot of fun pictures with it. But uh, now it, it looks like it has been erased from existence. Back to the future. But the Mario movie, still number one in the world right now chasing a billion dollars. Good job, Mario. There goes the Hulk. Upside down shot of the Hulk. It still looks good, even when it's upside down. Nice. <laughs> there it is. That just happened.